liturgy today presents us with two readings. The first reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 1, verse 24 to 28, and the gospel reading from the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, verse 46 to 56. In these two readings, we encounter two characters, two persons, Anna and the Blessed Virgin Mary. These readings brings to bear the fact that after their experience of God, they gave a response. Today, we are presented with their responses to God. For Anna, being barren for many years, she petitioned God and she vowed that if the Lord looks upon her with mercy, she will bring the fruit of her womb back to God. Today she fulfills her vow. That's a response, a response of faith, giving up our only child, a son to God who gave her the same son. How many of us in our own time, even as we pray for Christmas, will we see our lives, everything we have, as gift from God? St. Paul will say, what do we have that has not been given to us? Everything we have has been given to us by God, the same God who has blessed you with so much. The Blessed Virgin Mary in the Gospel of today sings a Magnificat. In the words of this Magnificat, we see the Blessed Virgin Mary Acknowledge God in his greatness, how the Lord looks upon the lowly, but the proud scatters them. It brings down those who exalt themselves, but those who are humble, the Lord raises them. These are all the works of God. As we go on in this season of Advent, approaching Christmas so closely, have we come to that point in our life? that we see Christ even as he comes to us at Christmas as an avenue to give up ourselves that is the call he gave up himself to come and redeem us he gave up himself for the mission of redemption this is the call to each and every one of us to give up ourselves to render thanks to God to make our lives into thanksgiving how can your life become a thanksgiving how can your life glorify God? Only when you seek to honor God in all His ways. The Blessed Virgin Mary and Anna today, they give us examples of faith we can follow. Someone once said that amongst humans, they see that for children and infants, they find it difficult to give up what has been given to them. Probably many of us are still at that threshold we are still infant in faith. Sometimes what God has given to us, we find it difficult to give it back to God. But as we grow into maturity, we learn to give up our lives. We learn to know that giving up our lives even replenishes us. Giving up our lives to God, praising God alone above all else, is the fundamental reason why He has given this life to us. So that with our lives, we keep growing his kingdom here on earth. We pray for ourselves that as we prepare for Christmas, the gift of God to us in his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, would help us to make our own lives and our very selves also become gifts to others so that our lives will sing the praise of God and will only give glory to God both now and forevermore.